Hello, this is Road Warrior. Today I'm going to show you how to install DDWRT on a WRT54G Linksys router. I'm using revision 8. First thing first is get the firmware from DDWRT's website dd-wrt.com. Click downloads at the top. Type in WRT54G the search bar go down to your revision eat the VX works dash killer bin and the first micro generic bin file once you have those you need to configure your Ethernet card with these settings 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.100 and 192.168.1.1 with 192.168.1.1 Once you have those uh, settings input connect to your Linksys router and make sure you power cycle it once your router has been power cycled, we have to do a hard reset. To do a hard reset, you hold the reset button on the back for 30 seconds. Once you've done that for 30 seconds, while continue holding the reset button, you unplug the power cable for 30 seconds. Uh, after that 30 seconds is up, while continue holding the reset button, you plug the cable back in for another 30 seconds. Once you have completed the power cycle, proceed to 192.168.1.1. You should see this management mode firmware upgrade. Browse to the VXWorks killer uh, bin. That's the first one you need to upload. Click on it, hit open, hit apply. Upgrade success. Unplug the power cord in the back of the router and plug it back in. It's suggested that you wait two minutes after you see this page to make sure that the VXWorks killer bin file uh, has enough time to do its magic. I believe the first or second time I did this, I was kind of in a hurry and I did it immediately after and it didn't mess anything up, but uh, it's always good to wait a little bit afterwards just to make sure the software does its thing. Once you have power cycled your router, you should not be able to access the router's web GUI. It'll just say loading, continue refreshing, but if you ping the router, you should be able to ping it perfectly fine. That means you, uh, you've you uploaded the bin correctly and you're ready to proceed. Next thing to do is you have to TFTP the micro generic bin file. So open up a command prompt. Uh, CD to wherever you put the bin file. I put it in my root file to make it easier to get there. Command is tftp dash i 192.168.1.1 put ddwrt dot bin file. If you get this error, that means you uh, need to, to enable tftp on your computer. Do that. Open up your control panel, go to programs, programs and features, turn wireless features on or off, give it some time to load. Scroll down to TFTP client, enable it, hit OK. Once the screen's gone, you're good. You should be able to run the command now. Transfer successful. Now we should be able to browse back to 192.168.1.1. It may take a little bit of time before it comes up. If it does not come up immediately, you can power cycle the router to make sure the software is good and on there, which I'm going to do that now. Pull the power cable out, 
and then plug it back in. Once the router comes back on, you browse back to 192.168.1.1, you should see this screen. This is the new uh, DDWRT software. Enter root username and password. And you have it set. Now to get with the main part, the main reason why I'm putting up this video is um, how to enable your Linksys router as a wireless repeater so you can put a couple in your house and you have wireless everywhere. Another great thing about a wireless repeater is it gives you ethernet access in a different part of the building without having to run cables everywhere. Go to the setup tab, type in your root username and password. From here, change the local IP address, the subnet to something else. You have to do this. I changed mine to 69. Um, you can change the router name at this point. Change it to Spider Man. Apply settings. I guess it did not save my settings. This has happened a couple of times in the past. So what I, my only fix that I've uh, come up with is to use Internet Explorer. I guess for some reason DDWRT has an issue with Firefox and saving things. Let me just try one more time. Like I said, you can use any subnet you want, change the router name to whatever you want. If it goes straight to apply that CGI, it doesn't show you any loading bars, you need to use Internet Explorer for the rest of this part. Get back to the setup page. Dot .69 Spider-Man Apply once you see this, you know it's applying the settings. This was supposed to show up in Firefox, but I guess it did not uh, for some unknown reason. This part takes a little bit. Once you get to this part, it says that the unit has been rebooted. Blah blah blah. I usually like to hard boot the uh, router myself, unplug the power cable, plug it back in, just to make sure that it did reboot correctly. Doesn't take very long for these uh, units to boot up, it's really nice. Once uh, your unit has completely booted back up, make sure you now go to the proper web address, 192.168. whatever subnet you entered, dot one. Ready to move on to the next part. Go to the wireless tab. Since this is a new uh, subnet, you have to enter the credentials again. Actually, sorry, go to security, firewall. Uncheck all three boxes, click disable, apply settings. Go over to wireless. Now this part is important. Make sure you have wireless mode repeater. Whatever network mode you're on, if the wireless router you're connected to is in G only, you have to be in G only to connect to it. Network name, SSID, whatever SSID you want to Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Uh, the SSID you put in here is the SSID that you will be connecting to. In this case, it's uh, for me, my test lab is SuperCal. Make sure you have the correct channel selected. Hit apply settings. Once you apply those settings, add a virtual interface.
give it whatever SSID you want. Test cow. You can broadcast it if you want. You don't have to leave these uh, leave those settings alone. Apply settings. Go over to wireless security tab. Security mode. Super cow is WPA, I believe, if I remember correctly. Enter your uh, your pass key. You can encrypt the uh, the virtual interface. Um, this is the virtual interface. Is the uh, is the second access the second Wi-Fi access point that you can connect to uh, I suggest either keeping it the same password or giving it its own password sorry WP personal in this case I'm going to give it a simple WPA key Apply those settings. If you selected the right security mode, put the right key in. The stat, go over to the status page. Or not. Status. Go to WLAN. You are a prisoner. Looking for to be. You can change your face. That can change your mind. No matter what you do. 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 It's taking some time, but as you can see here, I now have a WAN IP address. Now this is the address that is on that will show up on my main router. If I go into my main router's um, my main router's uh, oh, I can't even think about it right now. The configuration page for my main router it should show as 192.168.1.67 and whatever I named my router in this case it would be Spider-Man would show up. Um, IP address sub all this information looks good. You're golden. If not, you either put the wrong encryption, wireless encryption uh, type wrong or password, in which case just um, fix it. If not, just keep hitting DHCP renew until you get the um, get the right settings in there. Now let's open up a test page in Firefox. Google.com. And I have internet. That's how to set up a old Linksys WRT router with DDWRT and how to configure it for a wireless repeater. Now if I had a Wi-Fi card on my desktop here, I would show you uh, both the SuperCal access point and the uh, test cow access point and I would I would um, connect to both of them and show you that both give me internet access and whatnot. I hope you guys find this video informative and useful. Thank you.